All right, I hope you had a great uh, 4th of July weekend. Uh, I did. I just uh, basically did a bunch of stuff around the house and and uh, watched some movies. Going to be working on the uh, clay today and see how far I can get. I've got some friends coming, so it's going to be a short, short day. Time to play with some clay. The more I looked at this uh, eagle, the more I realized he needs more of a body. And so that's what I'm adding. I got a product that's supposed to be good for smoothing out your monster clay and uh, at least that's what a one video on youtube said so i got this and i also got a dispenser for it that uh, when you pour the uh, this stuff into this and you press uh, let's see you put the lid down and if you press it down it pumps the fluid up into a little dish up here and you can take your brush and or sponge and put it in the liquid and uh, without spilling it all over the place. I don't know if that's going to work out really good though. Haven't I tried it last week? And one of the things you run into when you're working with a foundry is not everything that you use to smooth your clay is good for mold making. It. Uh, there is a product I got from a, uh, I think it was called Rio Grande is the name of the company. And they had an orange, uh, orange smelling product that s smoothed J-Mac clay really nicely. But the problem was it uh, really didn't work with uh, making molds of the clay. And uh, so the foundry asked me not to... Uh, use that material anymore because they had the hard time a hard time getting the uh latex rubber to adhere to the clay and the last thing you want to do is to have a problem with that sort of thing so i'm going to have to find out from the foundry before i start using this stuff Make sure it's going to be okay with them as far as smoothing the clay out will be. Can't talk today. It's Monday. Okay, that hand looks a little big. Of course, the arm, forearm is a little small too, so I'm going to work on that. I won't give up on the hand yet.
I think what I'm going to have to do is make myself an armature for the hand. I think. Well, Donna Evans is here, and she's made a suggestion, and I think it's a good one, but I'm going to try it. I'm thinking about bringing his leg. This is a dream. It's not a reality. And the dream is coming from him. And I'm thinking about putting his leg coming from behind the wings and sort of blending into the uh, bird itself. It kind of finishes out his body a little bit. I don't know. Gonna have to play with that idea for a while. Maybe have him look like he's kneeling down and he's lifting up on his knees and uh, this is how he's having that dream. I'm gonna have to do this hand separate from the uh, body. I'm gonna put my jig together and do that because you have to have a lot of detail in those hands to make it look real but i kind of like that if i can just work it out a little bit here and uh it kind of finishes out his body a little bit and doesn't make it look like he's uh riding on the back of an eagle <laughs> of course it looks like he's riding on the back of the eagle gonna have to work on that a little bit I'm just experimenting with it right now I can always take it apart if I don't like it because I was gonna actually have his body blending into the wing and uh that didn't work out.
it's a dream piece. It's not supposed to make a lot of sense. And it's not a reality. It's a dream. So blending him into the dream. It looks interesting. Best hold away. Okay. Hey, Beth. Uh, okay. So are you out? Uh, you go to the big tree by the yellow house. I can hear you getting out of your car. I can hear you walking. You can hear me walking. Man. <laughs> GoPro turn off. Okay, go. GoPro turn off. Well, I'm going to have to pick this up tomorrow. They're here. And uh, I'm going to end the video here, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night, everybody. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.